Here we go folks. I've got the Red Tiger F7N. Um, I have one for my car that I've had for a year and a half. Um, it works so well that I decided to get my wife one and put in her car. Her old in-car DVR, which is a VOFO. Um, I don't know what company that is. Uh, she's had it for about four years and it, it finally died on her. And I like this Red Tiger F7N in-car DVR so well or so much that um, I decided to get her one put in her car all right um, some of the features and what's funny is the this is a, like a new packaging for, uh, box for the F7N uh, the previous box and I'll put that video up here but uh, the previous packaging had all the features listed on the outside of the packaging let me go over those features real quick I'll put them right here um, you have built-in Wi-Fi, built-in GPS, the front camera is 4K, the rear camera is 1080p, uh, that front camera also has a 3.1 inch display which is really nice uh, for you. The front camera has 170 degree uh, field of view, so you know pans out really wide. The rear camera has 140 degree field of view. Uh, there is a 24-hour parking feature, uh, but you have to uh, be hardwired for that. And uh, what it does is if you are hardwired and use the 24-hour parking monitor feature, uh, it'll start recording if your vehicle is bumped, or um, it'll just, you can put it in a time-lapse mode where it'll just do time-lapse uh, video while it's parked. It supports uh, 256 gigabyte micro SD card which if you look right here let's see here 256 gigabyte micro SD card hopefully that will show you if that doesn't show I'll try it on my phone as well so let's open this up and see what's inside all right let's go all right, so here's the box that it comes in now in the packaging. It's got this um, plastic on the outside. Let's get rid of that. I guess it says Red Tiger on the side. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Um, will it come off? Let's see. Oh, it comes right off. So the first thing you see right here is the main camera in the front. You take this out of here. So here's the main camera. It says Red Tiger. This is uh, that 3.1 inch screen right here. Let me take this off. So here's that, that whole screen shows you or displays you what the camera is uh, seeing or recording. Here's the front camera, take this off. Here's the front camera, so this will be pointing out toward the road. And here's where the GPS and the holder clicks in right here, in this spot. So, main unit, boom. Back this up a little bit. And here is this is the GPS and unit and holder. So I'm going to screw this a little bit. You can move this back and forth depending on the slope of your front window. And here is the 3M tape. So you tape that on your window. You clip this in here. And uh, I'll show you that later. But okay. This has the GPS. Uh, unit in it as well, built-in GPS. Okay, this is the manual and within here it has this um, electrostatic sticker piece that what you do is put this on the window first and then put the 3M sticker on, on over top of it. And we'll be doing that in the car. Here's the manual itself. other box down here uh, 
Ah, okay, here's here are the cables. So here's your power cable. Um, this is supposed to be an 11 and a half foot power cable. And then here is your rear camera attached to a 21.3 foot cable. So, so here's your rear camera. I'm not going to take that off yet. And it should be, and here's where it plugs into the main unit. Probably right here. Um, probably right there. We'll find out later. Um, and it's 21.3 feet of cabling to get from the front of your vehicle all the way to the back. And I'm going to install this on the inside, so I'll use some 3M tape. I'm not going to, like, it has uh, screw holes in here if you want to screw it in. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to um, adhesively tape it to the rear uh, window. Ah, and here's the tape that comes with that. Also comes with this uh, car wire trim tool and some clips, some adhesive clips that you can use to uh, clip the wires as you move the wires throughout the car. All right, so here's the box. It's empty now. What it comes with is the F7N dash cam, the 1080p rear camera, GPS bracket, 11 and a half foot power cable that plugs into your lighter, 12 volt lighter, 3M adhesive, electrostatic stickers, the car wire trim tool, and the user manual. All right, so that's what you get in the box. Um, there's also uh, an app that you're supposed to download, and I'll show you guys that. And uh, I'll also show you guys how to set up your Wi-Fi. All right, let's go. All right, so here's the user manual. All right, connecting to the Red Tiger app. Let's do that. First, it says, here download the app all right so download the app from https www.redtarget.com pages app scan QR code from your f7n but let's go here ah red tiger app get it Double click. Now you press the install button. I'm supposed to sign in. I'm signing in over here. All right, I, I had to put in the Apple ID password. Didn't want to show you guys our email and password. But okay, now I'll open the app. User agreement, sure, whatever. Add camera. You have not added camera. Allows to use, okay. I'm gonna allow them to use my location while using the app. Add camera again. Select camera, Wi Fi, and connect. Add camera. Okay, so I think before you can add the camera, you have to have, to have the camera powered on. So I'm gonna plug the camera in and see if that helps here. So open the bag. Now I'm gonna plug the camera in, get power to it. You don't really have to set everything up exactly right at this point. This is just to power up the camera itself. So I'm gonna plug this into a 12 volt outlet down here. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. I have the 
micro SD card in now. Power it up. Please format. Okay. Format. All data will be deleted. Fine. Now it's formatting the card. It must be done. Okay. So here's the video. If you can see it. All right. So I'm going to set this. Let's see right here on my knee. <laughs> Balance that on my knee. Go back here. All right. Now I'm going to click add camera. Next. Let's see. Select camera Wi-Fi and connect. Please select the camera Wi-Fi and enter password in the settings Wi-Fi option. Oh, it's F7N. It's down here. Here we go. F7N. The Wi-Fi password is on page 19 of the user manual. And the initial one is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over here. Just here we go. So F7N password. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join. Boom, now I'm connected to the F7N and my app should work. Okay, so there you go. You can see on the app what your camera is looking at. See, I'm moving the app around, moving the camera around and the app is moving around. Okay, so boom, we're connected. That's how you connect to Wi-Fi. So what I did I powered on the unit, okay. I went to the app and went to um, add the camera. I pressed this top right button for like over four or five seconds and that turned on the Wi-Fi from the unit. And then I was able to see this code and connect to it via the, the general all right right here so you go to settings and then you select from the networks and then you add the one two three four five six seven eight password and then you're connected to the wi-fi of the unit then you go back to the app itself and you're able to see what's on your camera all right so that's how you connect to wi-fi on the unit next is the installation itself I think I'm gonna try to go right here for this. Right about there. In the car. So I'll start with the um the Lexter static sticker and then put the GPS uh unit which attaches this to it up here. I'll probably click it in first like I did before and then put everything up here at one time all right let's go all right peeling it apart okay this is what I have and the sticky side obviously is over here this is the not sticky side let's go let's see here how is this gonna go people I'm gonna put it up here. Oh, that looks fairly straight. Oh, that's nice. It's going on real nice. Can't even hardly see it in on the camera, but there we go. It is on. Now I have the GPS portion and basically the holder holds on the um, whole unit. So what I'm gonna do is clip this on and here you can see it here. So this clips in here 
like this. You see that? This clips in here. Boom. So now this tapes to the window. So I'm gonna take this 3M backing off and now it's ready to stick. And this is, right now I have this kind of unscrewed so it can move back and forth. But once I get it up there, I'm gonna put it in a certain place and I'm gonna tighten this screw down as tight as I can. And the rear camera plugs in over here. So I'll get that next. All right, you guys ready? All right. Um, I'm gonna pick this camera up and you're gonna move up with me and hopefully we can get this done right the first time. Well, you have to get it right the first time. All right, so we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna place it high up, as high up as I can. Over here. And now, boom, press for 30 seconds. Well, I counted 30, I counted 30. All right, so now I wanna get it to where it looks straight out. Can you see that? Okay. And that looks good to me. Let's see if it goes too far down. So that's the hood of the car right here. And you don't wanna just videotape the hood of your car. So now I'm gonna tighten it. So that's the position I want it to be in, in the car. Now let's check all of the different uh, configurations. In order to get to the different configurations, I need to turn off the Wi-Fi. And I think I just hold on to this top right button and it turns it off. Okay, right? All right, yeah, so that top right button is a good button to know about. Your on off button. Just turn it off. Turn it back on. All right, now let's hit OK, this middle button. Okay, and then you got video. Let's go to settings, video. Let's click video. Oh, it's recording. Woohoo! All right, back. Playback. If I want to play back anything, I can select these folders. I want normal playback, and then it'll play back the video for you on the unit itself. Okay, that's playback. All right, get out of that. Press this uh, on-off button to get out of something, and then go back into it. Okay, now click on settings, resolution, 2160p, I'll keep that. Next, audio, audio on, date stamp, on, loop. I want an every five minute loop. G sensor, I want that low. Fatigue, I don't care about. Speed, I don't want that, I want that off. GPS stamp on. Speed units, miles per hour. GPS info, miles per hour. Okay, there, so. We have some on there because I've been driving it. Rear camera flip. No, I don't, I don't want that off. Mirror flip. I guess on. I, um, app. I've already downloaded the app. I've already done the Wi-Fi. And that's on the video. Language is English. Time format. 12 hour. Date time should be matched because we've selected GPS, time zone, east coast, DST, 
this is um, supposed to be uh, the daylight savings time. I'll click that on. Frequency, 60 hertz. That's a US power frequency. Uh, click tone. I'll keep that on. Screen. I want to keep the screensaver off. I like having uh, I like having the uh, being able to see a uh, video, so I'll leave it off. Parking, nope, uh, I'm not going to use that. I, I'm not hardwired to the car. Format, um, format reminder, I don't need one of those. I already formatted the card, the card speed, you can, you can test it. I already know that the card speed is good. And I'm not going to do any default settings. And here's the version for the software. And that's it. All right, so this is how I have it plugged in. Power's plugged in here, runs down, and it just goes right into the uh, 12 volt lighter outlet. Um, here's the gobble the uh, gook extra um, power cable and uh, we're fine with that I don't need to you know I mean if you want to try and hide the if you want to try and hide all this and you know like you can go around and go down this way and come over and go I don't know under your uh, dash and over here you know what? I I don't really mind. Just boom. Cables right here. That way if we have to ever remove it for some reason, I can just come in here and take it out. I can move it to another car, whatever I want to do. Alright, so here's the rear camera. I'm going to take this off. Just keeps it all together. I think this is what, 21 feet? 21 and a half feet or something like that of cabling. All right, so what I'll do is, hopefully you can see this, uh, like unwrap all this. So right now, I have the camera back here in the trunk area, the back area, and the line's running along here. It's on the ground here, but this is where it plugs into the Red Tiger unit that's all right, it's up here. So, and then I have the rest kind of, kind of going back that way. See that? All right. So, now, <laughs> this is not a professional installation by any means. Okay, so now, plug this in here and now it should show yeah so here's the rear camera up there you can kind of see a video of it so now I'm gonna put this back up on the window all right and now again you can see that's the rear camera and it's turned on it's just facing down in the back what I'm gonna do now is Move this cable over. And I'm going to pull it up here. And I'll probably put it, I have a bunch of clips. I'll probably clip it here. And then clip it up here and then go across this way. See the clip? It's got 3M backing on it. And then clip up here. Remember not to uh, not to press this in yet. I need to put this in first. Now, all right. So that's that. And I'll put one on the other side. See that?
So this is similar to how I did the Q5 and, and you know, it, obviously it's not professional, but this is a lease vehicle. So when we're done with it, we're gonna turn it in. And uh, so I'll just run in it, put it under here and then back here here's the line i'm just going to bring it from this one over and up here so that'll hold that hopefully you can see that yeah so that that'll hold that right there now yeah if anyone comes in here and uses that little handrail it's going to drop down i get it but I may put something on there to keep it from falling. But this is just to get it up for now and get it installed. So now I'm pushing the cable back to the back. Here it is in the back. And I will Get one of those clips again and clip it probably right here. Let's go. All right, I have another one of these clips. And like I said, I'm gonna put it, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up here. And I finally took the plastic piece off the camera. I need to put this on first this right here oh come on baby go on right for me okay good enough horseshoes and hand grenades um now i'm gonna take the 3m off oh, you can see this okay all right And then we want to look out back, right? So we'll go right here. All right. So that's the back camera. And now I'm going to tie all this up. It'll go just like that. This is gonna have to probably go like that to see out. We'll check it out though. All right, I just put another clip right here, pulled everything up in here. So now it, uh, it's connected that way. Goes along the back, goes through here. We can see that up to the front. And let's see what the video looks like out there. So that's what it looks like. I need to get this out and drive around a little bit and then we'll see what it really looks like. All right. Let's go. Take me up to heaven. 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 Yeah, she got me reaching still. Still, still, still. Nothing to stop me falling. Who knew that looks could kill? I don't want the way I'm breathing. Heavy like the weight of it's on my chest. On my chest. Cause it ain't no lie. So there you go. The Red Tiger F7N in-car DVR is unboxed and installed in my wife's car. Now, like I said before, it's not a professional installation by any means. Um, 
it's in there. If we need to pull it out real quick to do things and put it back in, it's easily removable. And plus it's a lease car. So when we do turn it in in a few years, it'll be easy for me to just pull that stuff out and then place it in whatever other car my wife gets. All right. I uh, hope you guys like the video. If you do, go ahead and please click like. And also, if you like the videos we've been uh, posting on YouTube, go ahead and uh, subscribe. We'd appreciate that. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Okay. What is it? Spider. Ah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the previous, uh, so how do you do that? You peel this thing off, you drop your manual down into the seat. Right here is the main camera. Ooh, let me drop it right there. Nice, Dave. I think that works. No idea.